Good afternoon. New developments in the case of the former veterinarian found with dozens of dogs inside her home. First arrested on drug charges, she now faces a long list of animal cruelty charges. News 13's Gabrielle Burkhardt is live in the Newsplex with the latest. Kim, the criminal complaint outlines dozens of counts of misdemeanor animal cruelty. One count for each of the 48 dogs which have overwhelmed the Santa Fe County Animal Shelter. That amounts to almost 48 years in prison if convicted. 45 dogs from one cruelty case still at the Santa Fe County Animal Shelter. In the last week, three others had to be euthanized. They were all seized from the home of former veterinarian Deborah Clopton. She's now charged with animal cruelty for each of the 48 dogs. The information that we had, the evaluations of the animals, uh, it was deemed more appropriate to, that we file these charges. Last week, the Santa Fe County Sheriff's Office served a warrant to seize the dogs. Some appeared to have health issues. These pups were just a week old when they were brought here. Shelter officials say so far they've spent more than $7,000 to care for the dogs for the last eight days. 48 dogs coming in our door under any circumstance would be a lot, but 48 dogs that we have to hold longer than their, the average time, which is generally between five and seven days, is a huge stressor. Clopton was originally arrested on drug-related charges after deputies found euthanol euthanasia, a Schedule III controlled substance. With the new animal cruelty charges on top of that, her troubles continue to mount. She may have to pay back the county for shelter costs. Anytime you have that amount of animals, it's extremely difficult to care for them, and so that's why there is an ordinance that's passed, and it's also, it causes a burden burden to the surrounding community. Although they've been overwhelmed, shelter officials say they've gotten lots of help from the community. The support from the community is incredible. From everything from hot dogs to cash to blankets to space in their boarding facilities to space in their shelters. Uh, boy, emergencies bring out the best in us. I, it's just, uh, it's incredibly humbling. There will be an emergency hearing on Monday in district court where a judge will decide if Clopton will pay back the county for housing the seized dogs. Shelter officials say if the court gives them custody of the dogs, they're confident they can adopt them out. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Gabrielle. Now, as far as the drug charges, those were dismissed in magistrate court, but the DA is in the process of testing the drugs and refiling those charges in district court.